All right, so I have the uh, second, the second uh, try here. I've got. I tried the uh, the first, the first idea. So I didn't have enough. Sorry, I'm totally jacking the camera. Around. Um, I didn't have enough stator magnets to to complete the first idea. So I'll be uh, waiting on those for a little extra fundage. But I did finish the bottom assembly here, and uh, as you can see, this thing is very. I mean, like it's it's very free moving because not all, I've got. I put a uh, ball bearing here. There's also one uh, on the underside there. So there are two, and then there's a free spinning rod in this in the middle here. So this can you know this can spin freely, you know whether that's spinning or not. And also, we can do, you know I've, I've got a little point on the bottom of here too, so that can this can actually spin too. So when I want to do, um, you know when I want to test it, it's it's almost zero friction. So anyway. Um, okay, so as I, as I mentioned, the first idea didn't wasn't. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'd, I'd re I would really like to try it with uh, with 17 uh, stator magnets out, out on the uh, the outer the outer ring, um, just just uh, to basically offset so that there's always one that's that's um, pushing on the on the top of the hill as we as I called it last time or the hump I guess, um, uh, since that the push is is greater than the pull. I was I would always have one pushing greater than the, the other one, uh, the opposite side pulling. So I'll, I still want to try that out, but it's going to take a little bit more money to do that. So I'm <laughs> just doing stuff that uh, that someone who's broke can can do. So anyway, um, okay, here's here's another idea that I just kind of came up this with this the other day. I was uh, um, just kind of messing around with it, and it sort of hit me, which is how the light bulb was invented. I'm not sure if that's true. That's probably not. But uh, I'd like to think that. Anyway, so basically, um, the premise behind this idea is I would have, uh, instead of a permanent magnet like these neodymium magnets are, I would have a, uh, a, an electromagnet. And um, for anybody who doesn't know, like, let's say, uh, let's say this is made of metal. Um, to make an electromagnet out of this, what I would do is take some, take some magnet wire, and I would coil this around one end, you know, a couple thousand times, um, and then make another coil around the other end a couple thousand times, and then when you hook up the positive here to, you know, positive end of a battery or whatever, uh, negative end of a battery, then you're going to have a south and a north pole. Um, now to change the, to change the polarity, you just hook up the other, the other end, you know, we switch, we'd switch the, the, the lead wires on the, on the battery to make, you know, to go south pole here, north pole here. So that's a way to, to change the polarity of an electromagnet. So if I were to do this shape of an electromagnet, you know, just something, uh, something, you know, uh, I don't know, just something long like this where there's a north and then a, a nor uh, south opposing um, on the other end of it rather than in a, in a you know, a horseshoe shape or whatever, um, then we could have, and then change, okay, let me back up a little bit here. I could change the polarity in the middle of this stride. See, and what I've got here, I've got all south facing out, then I've got north facing out for 4 ohm. And if you can see the angle, I'm not sure if you can tell from there, but the angle of these, I've got one facing straight out, one at another 15 degrees of angle, one at another 15 degrees, one at another 15 degrees. So, uh, so this would be... Um, and basically, you can see here we've got repulsion uh, with this uh, north to north, and then as you see, when I hold this here, I have uh, I have um, acceleration through through that north cycle, and then when we hit when we hit the south cycle, the repulsion stops. Obviously, it's attraction there because I've got uh, south to north at that point. So so north to north, I've got this you know acceleration south to north. I've got deceleration and it wants to go backwards even so so basically here's the idea if I can do uh, change the polarity so south to south and now the way I'm gonna just the way I'm gonna uh, um, illustrate changing the polarity is just switching the magnet back and forth like this so instead of having a south you know and switching it electromagnetically to the north I'm just gonna turn it like this but as you can see I'm gonna try to hold my hand real still here so I can so I can make my point here so we See, we've got acceleration, 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 like that. And we can actually do 
we can get a uh, a good thing going. And I mean, like I can't time it obviously right with my hand, but uh, when we, you know, when I get some uh, some mechanisms on here to trip that, you know, to trip that charge, um, then we can, you know, it can it can be timed exactly right, no matter how fast it's spinning. So that's uh, that's the idea for now. So, but as you can see here, we can, you know, it picks up pretty quickly. And it can also, you know, just as in as in anything, pretty much anything magnetic, if you you can go one way, or I mean, just for you, those of you out there who are experimenting right now with this stuff, you can go the other way too with it, you know. Change, and I mean, like right now, it's not a it's not in repulsion mode; it's in attraction mode. So, so as this uh, north pole gets closer to this south pole, I mean, like this the pole, since this is closer to the center of this circle, and this is a little further from the center of this circle, a little further, a little further this pole is less strong than this pole, is less strong than this pole, and less strong than this pole. So it's just a, it's just a succession, almost like the, uh, uh, who was that? The, um, not per end of, uh, I can't remember his name. Anyway, so, but almost, yeah, like, like that, uh, that kind of, uh, theory. So anyway, but it's just times four, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just using an idea that's already in place, um, with a new, you know, a new spin on it. So, so yeah, mess around with that, guys. And, and seriously, leave me comments. Uh, leave, leave some comments. And seriously, if anybody's got ideas out there, I'm really not looking for, you know, tons of money from this project. I really just want to uh, find a way to make, the, to make this work. Because I think, uh, I think in in the past, you know, like the uh, the people who have sold out their, you know, their copyrights and stuff like that. Like everybody gets, you know, money minded, and then. You know, and then really good ideas get squished, you know, by the bigger companies. So, um, you know, let's seriously show some teamwork, guys. It's going to be awesome.